All right, I got something really special to show you today. Uh, previously in my other video, I showed you this circuit and how it could run a stepper motor such as this. Uh, this circuit was shown by Lid Motor, and I believe it was a recreation of Smart Creations circuit. Um, like you said in the video, they're all kind of similar. It just simply has the PNP transistor connected to a NPN transistor and it would be able to run a motor coil from there. And what I've done is kind of modified it, kind of simplified it. I got rid of one of the resistors and just jumped it straight from a small NPN to a larger high powered uh, NPN here. So this was the circuit that I had previously. Here's my larger uh, transistor and this is the little jumper coil so I'm bypassing this resistor here altogether. So all I have right now is the 100k resistor and what I've discovered was not only does it run a stepper motor very nicely but it also runs one of these three phase DC motors that you can get out of uh, VCRs and several other t different types of devices. Um, what I've done is soldered onto the little points where the wires connect some extra leads and so what this is is you have three phases and I've labeled them A, B, C and then they all have a common coming to a D in the center. And so what we have here is A, B, C and then this is the common one D and what I did was just kind of use an ohm meter to figure out which ones were which and the D obviously being the center had the least amount of ohmage between A, B, and C, and D. So um, if you don't know what I'm talking about you just kind of have to read a little bit about them and see how they're designed and built. Um, but I never could find a circuit that would run these without you know complex uh, complex circuitry. But this is real simple. Just two little transistors and it can get this thing going really high speed. So what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to 12 volts. The power is on. Everything's set up. And I'm going to get this thing started just by a quick little spin. There it goes. And I really don't have tachometer to where you can actually uh, see how fast the RPMs. You just have to gauge by the sound. But there it is. It's just using 0.17 amps. So just about two tenths of an amp at 12 volts. Oh, there it's gone up a little bit. But just like in a stepper motor setup where I had running off of A and B here, this one's running off of A and B at these two points. So what I did was connect them right here and connect them right there. And then off of D and C, you can actually pick up some of the uh, extra voltage just like you did on the stepper motor, C and D. So what I did here was just connect them up to a little LED little di diode here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this and connect onto D and connect this one to the center and it does drop the RPMs a little bit but you can see I'm getting some of the voltage here for making it useful and I'm still having a lot of torque and a lot of RPMs. Anyway, this makes this a whole lot more useful circuit and with these little motors you can get a lot of things. I've seen people use them for RC airplanes and helicopters and little drones. Some of the homemade do-it-yourself kits out there you can modify this little motor and make it into all, all kinds of stuff. So hopefully this will help you guys with this little circuit and 
here's the setup. So I'm fixing to try a bigger uh, PNP transistor here because this one's only rated up to 12 volts at very low amperage. And so if I think if I can crank up the amperage here, this one definitely can handle it. This one's a high amperage, high voltage that I got out of a television. But then from here, I should be able to be able to run a larger, more useful motor than this. Maybe I can hook this one up to a bicycle of some sort. Not this motor, but a bigger motor. So anyway, that's kind of something new I've, I've stumbled across on my own. I don't know if anybody else has come up with this yet, but uh, hopefully this can help you. That's all I have for now. Thanks.